why we shouldn't make a hoverboard just yet. The problem is, it's the, bat it's the batteries. The batteries cost a lot of money. They cost $2,000 for a set of battery packs for the hoverboard probably. And you get a thousand charges out of it. It lasts two minutes each. So it works out the two dollars a ride. And so you'd be buying a set of batteries every month. Two thousand dollars a month to be able to ride the hoverboard. It's, that's just ridiculous. There must be a better way. And so that's the bad news. Um, it's going to cost too much for batteries. It won't be practical at all. But there is good news because there must be a better way and apparently there may be a better way. New type of batteries apparently are around the corner which is a great thing because when I discovered that that was the case when it cost so much money for the batteries to ride the hoverboard, I just sort of gave up. And then I saw a comment on, on YouTube about it, about some batteries. Some bloke sent me a comment and mentioned this, this new battery technology. Just go back here. And um, there's the light, you see, look, there's the light, you can see the light. Now, with this new technology, uh, it involves little fine hairs inside the battery that act like, sort of, to give it more surface area for the battery to work. The more hairs are in there, the more surface area, the more you can charge the battery. But with the lithium ion batteries, the hairs break down after a while. There they are, the fine hairs, showing how fine they are, compared to human hair or something like that. Anyway, they break down, and that's why they get worse and worse, and they only last a thousand charges. But with the new technology, they're using something else to hold the hairs together. You see? And, and that's the secret, and the hairs last longer you see and you get a lot more charges and apparently they've made a prototype or something they seem pretty positive about it some videos say it might even happen in a couple of years or something and so all we have to do is wait because now instead of the thousand charges we could get sometimes they say up to two hundred thousand I mean, two hundred thousand charges you know 200 times more charges than what they've got now. So 200 times less expensive. So instead of $2 a ride, it's like a cent or something like that, you know. Probably not even that because it lasts longer, they reckon. It's only got a 5% breakdown or something, even after that long. But it's still not 100% anymore. But you could still use them, probably up to 400,000 charges, according to some videos. So let's just hope and see what happens and make our hoverboard because it seems like it could happen it's like a, over a 50% chance I think so still nothing wrong with making a hoverboard but soon we get enough evidence to know that they it's a pretty well a certainty I suppose then we can go ahead and make the hoverboard and when the technology comes in we can just wait a little while till it gets a bit better and buy the the new fangled battery packs for our hoverboards <laughs> so I can recharge them forever or more nearly <laughs> instead of costing two dollars a ride you know that's just ridiculous and it cost it cost like you know with the batteries today it cost something like as I said you know like uh, uh, twenty well, two thousand dollars a month or something or twenty thousand dollars a year or something like that it's just just ridiculous you know that's just outlandish cost Nobody's going to do that. You've got nice, quiet power, beautiful, quiet ride and everything, but too costly. You know? 
that's the problem. But hopefully, there's some um, a solution to that. But just around the corner, uh, uh, hopefully. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> <laughs>